Welcome back to the How Do We Get It show. First off, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. To those who celebrate. Even if you don't, first of all, can I say this? What? Even if you don't celebrate Christmas, just say Merry Christmas back to the person. You, you know, know, I say likewise. You're wishing them a Merry Christmas. It ain't your Merry Christmas. <laughs> I say likewise. If somebody, somebody be like Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Let me tell you and about happy holidays. Hey, let me tell you about about his birthday. He done brought it. He done brought home a gift. Talk about I got my boss gave me this present. <laughs> 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 so he he's celebrating. He gave me a he's point. transitioning. He's not gonna turn down no gift card. Eh? Uh, I, I give him a break. The I mean, man has been though. celebrating Christmas his whole life. He's transitioning. Mm. You don't just do stuff in a snap. Give him a break. I'm not gonna sit up here and somebody give I, me something that yeah, I don't even know. Right. I don't even know that. I just before I met the band. In his defense, he probably would have had the same expression or the same reaction if it was March the second. Probably. You, yeah. No. I think it's all about it's all about. He probably would have still came in like, hey, it's my boss gave me such and such. I wasn't like that though. I know. I'm just you saying. You weren't like that. It was not like hey, you. Were, you were like, guess what? Was my like, boss gave me a. Like, guess what? It was like, I, oh, they just gave me. I've this never gift seen card. him ever act like that at one time in my entire life. Hey. Oh, he was happy. It's like that mouth, big mouth. Hey, what you gonna do with her? I will tell you what, he was upset when Jackson got to it, and it was the whole car was ripped up. Jackson, hey. Uh, he what he do with the gift card? What he do? Y'all, I got in trouble. Oh lord. Okay, I just I have to take a moment and apologize for my actions. <laughs> well, before you no. do that, yes, let's welcome our viewers back to welcome. How did we get here? How did we get and, here? And Merry Christmas to everybody show. out there. Who are we? I'm Kiki the Don. I'm JC. I'm Jay Dota. I'm, I'm the nigga on the left. Yeah. Nigga on the left. Featuring Herman. <laughs> yeah. Nigga on the left. Featuring Herman. And we got hand in the background. She's hey, wait, too. hold on, wait. If the camera's facing that way, am I on the right? Mm, you are on the right. <laughs> nigga on the right. <laughs> I'm on the left. <laughs> left man here. <laughs> and we back awesome for the we last back. episode Arizona. of. 2020. Man, sidebars. What? Y'all two. Um, sorry, we do that. <laughs> well, go ahead, I cut you off. I'm sorry. No, I was saying I got in trouble. How you get in trouble? I have to first apologize to the yeah. viewers. Yeah. Then I have to apologize to my family. Wait a minute. Your sidebars. Just go ahead. We I, you I, apologize. I, I got him. You I got him. I'm policing him. Right here. It's all right. Him. Um. So yeah, I have to apologize to my family, my viewers, um, all who were offended by my actions on the last show. Oh. I got some feedback. Who in the, in the world that told you something? Wait a minute. Hey, it was. Can, can we cut back to the last episode? What were you? What was it? We're gonna cut back right here. I think he lied about the fact that people were knocking down his oh. door with a stick or whatever. Or he beating them up with a stick. You, I, you, you, you don't know if that's true or not. That's, okay. that's a mother oh. lie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Don't cut back. Oh, we cut what? back. We cut back. We cut back. <laughs> because to be honest, I don't know. What I had some people. They didn't say that about me. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is she talking about? I, I already I'm going to tell her anyway what, what I'm talking about. You know what he's talking about. It was probably what he's going to say. I can't wait. Now I'm, no, I'm in trick. Now I want to know. Guys, why did you guys let me curse so much? Is that what they were going to say? No. Oh. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, I'm closing my computer. They cursed it. Dad, Dad, Papa the Don is that? That's his name, I guess. But Papa the Don, he called me and was brother. like, "Hey, I was listening. I was just got off work. I said, let me turn on. How did we get here? And you were just cursing up the store. <laughs> He's like, the show don't pay your bills yet. Watch your language. Mm. So I, I got. I'm, I'm gonna do this whole show. No profanity. Without profanity. I'm gonna try to get you to curse. Well, hey, good question, yo. Probably just me. Because that's his curse job. Word. 
Probably just me. Hey, I I not, 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 uh, cursing is different than what we proclaim. Where listen, this ain't. You want to be technical or you want to be? But I digress. I don't want to be telling you. So he's like, hey, you know, you got to be careful with your language. You don't want. I was like, I got you, Dad. And he moved on. But um, he, I, I was like, dang. It kind of let maybe think about it for a little bit. You, did, you went in, though? You went home? I don't, I don't know remember. I remember, her, I remember her saying, like, at, at one point. I might have said MF, too, because that's yeah, what my dad said. Yeah, she she definitely, okay. I remember. I don't remember what if, it was If about. he says it, then you did. I know. Because uh, I know I know. I would know if my daughter did. I know. I was just about to say. I was just about to say. You know what I mean? So, yes, I got checked. Kiki the Don got in trouble. Let's see if I can get you well, to right. this episode. I no, that. I will not. Okay, I'm we'll going see. to use restraint. We'll see. We're going to roll those clips, too. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to roll the clips that my people were no, talking about. Well, I ain't saying they my people, but people that hit, hit up. What'd they say? Girl, they was like, man, what's up with her? What's that mean? Twice a month. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> they was like, man, what, no, what's really good? I'm just, saying, I'm just saying it's somebody who had, see, now y'all going to make me go there. Okay, It's somebody ahead. who had... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I had to go through a lot to conceive, and you know what I mean. Right, I'm right, just right, saying right, right, that, right, right. and I've had another. I've had two surgeries. What well, we saying so, was circumstantial. Yeah, he wasn't talking about said, you, though. I'm not saying all the time that's everybody's situation but I'm is saying, different, I'm and, saying, and, and it could be different at different points in the relationship. I'm, as I'm, well. Yeah, I'm just sensitive right. to think, women who are going through that. I think the notion was that you feel like two times a month is enough. I'm just saying, you can't have sex one unless you are somebody. Oh, this, Bruh, this is so I'm bad. Is, Dad, close your ears. Somebody said to I me, I do too. I think, I I think don't twice a month. Oh, I don't agree with that. Hold on, hold on. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Maybe it's a problem, but it could be a reality. <laughs> no no doubt about it. For a functioning family. But if it's a problem, children, you agree with having a problem? Man, that, it's a problem. If it's only oh, a problem, okay, so you think it's, it's only a problem, a problem if the one if, person if, if wants one more. One person thinks it's a problem. It's only right. a problem if or both. Or if they both want more, yeah. Or if they both want more. That, right. But what if you? What if one doesn't want more, but they like, man, this isn't ideal. I mean. If one person is not satisfied or has any other thoughts, it's a problem. It's not, it's a problem. Fair enough. Yes. Yeah, All right. But that, but I don't want to. I don't want to like discharge or discredit anybody else's norm, because especially not being married myself, like it, the reality is, there's a lot of things going. There's a lot of moving parts in one household. You got kids. You got jobs. You got schedules. You got priorities. True, but the whole thing came up with the guy spreadsheet man. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I, I didn't get the vibe that they were married. Well, he, they had kids. Oh, he has a problem. So does I that, does that mean they, they have a problem? Yes, they do. I got the I got the vibe that they were married. (laughs) I feel this wife was cheating. Something's going on. Something's going on, bro. Cause she she's not loinful, but twice a month. And and they don't have any kids. What they got going on? But that one he's like Like he's overly loinful. He's like he's probably he could just be a whack dude. Like Uh, even still then she's cheating on him. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. He's probably nice. Make a spreadsheet, make a spreadsheet. Man. That's just, yeah. That just tell you what type of dude. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the type of dude you. Do I can with. see that dude walking in the room, no homo. Never mind. I don't want to. What's nah, the difference on, between a no spreadsheet homo, and a diary? What's the what? There's a big difference because a spreadsheet yeah. has a certain intention. You can keep a diary or a log. Of what you got going on in your life. Let me tell you something. A lot of successful people keep logs so that they can reference, oh man, I did say I was going to do this. Whatever, whatever, whatever. It might not be like, hey, I'm feeling like so and so. Let me ask you a question. I feel like that's more of a diary thing there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I I mean, I guess it's all the same. Yeah. uh, yeah. But a spreadsheet is more. A spreadsheet (laughs) is more like, oh, I tried to do this that day and the result was. A plus B equals this. Right. A, a log or a diary is not statistics. That's just going down what you fit, everything under Adding the sun. Adding everything. Yeah. She's everything. not being honest with him about something. Was the, log, was the diary the, thing in could, reference to? Yeah. She could have okay. the world's longest the, yeast infection. Oh, it's possible. Go with this. It's possible, dog. I didn't want to dwell here. No. I just wanted to bring There's it up. There's a lot of things. Because some viewers were like, no, what's up with her? No, my point is that's not what I'm saying. That's all. They I, need to communicate a little bit better. That's what that sounds like to me. 
On because, both sides. Yeah, because she sounds like she's giving him a bunch of excuses. Well, obviously, he's not speaking the language that she likes to hear. She's not, he's not talking that real language. Exactly. He's not speaking her love. Her that's, love. that's what I meant by when I say he was whack. I, that's yeah, what I, I meant. I figured as much. That's what I, I meant. If you much. can't find a way to get turn the your woman on, your woman, <laughs> your woman who up. chose... To be with you? Well, you know what? Well, we don't she know that. She could be a foreign junk. We don't know if... She could have been like my co-workers, you know. Nah, that's true, yeah, too. we don't know the situation. Yeah. We just know he got a spreadsheet, and that alone is Is he is a kinda, white man? Is he a white gotta man? Gotta be. I don't know. Yeah. Is that racist? Yeah. And, they were, watching, and they were watching Friends? Yeah. You watching Friends? That's what she was watching. Uh, yeah, they were... New. We watch Friends. Oh. But John... I mean, I watch Friends, too. I mean, I watch... I watch... I watch... I watch Seinfeld. I don't watch. Why y'all like Friends over Seinfeld? No, I didn't say I that. Never watched Seinfeld. I didn't say that. What? I was trying to watch it. And I was like, man, of all time, though. I don't like Jerry Seinfeld. Man, you're, man, you're, you're tripping. tripping. I prefer I the dude that wrote for him, Larry David. Yeah. I prefer it's Larry David, but it's the same, same fucking type character. Type I don't get the character vibe when I see Larry David. I get a character when I see John, uh, Jerry Seinfeld. So I feel so I'm like, man, this isn't right. who you but really it, are. You're playing something. No, that is Larry me. David, though, I'm like, nigga, that's you. Right. You did this. Nah, Even though it's all the same Jerry's thing. like that, though. You got to see his stand-up. Yeah, that's how the stand-up is, too. Stand-up be dry to me. I've seen it. But that's the point. I don't really like the dry I think dry it's people who either really like love him or, or people are like, him. I'm right, good. Right, 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 right. Right. I don't hate him, but I'm just like, I'm good. I'm good. good. Yeah, man, nah. you're missing out on some great fucking I hear. theatrics, man. No, yeah. I think our sense of humor is will grow and mature as we get older. Well, it ain't about mature. It's about <laughs> the it fact that everybody taste. got different tastes. Taste gold. Taste gold. Like, I like Shula the King. Han doesn't like Shula the King. Shula the King. Ah! Uh, that damn is not Devin the Dude. Yeah, it's Devin the Dude. Yeah, it's Devin the Dude. Oh, you talking funny. about that band? Yeah. That band yeah. was not funny to me. Yeah. You yeah. his, his joints I'll be saying everybody and stuff. I think yeah. it's funny. Yeah, that but that's just me. He remind me of You a, don't have to think it's funny. He remind me of a uh, low budget Bernie Mac a little bit. He remind me of Devin the Dude. He reminds me of Devin the Dude. I'm talking about the way he, his, his, his delivery, calm. yeah. It's just not raunchy. Yeah, just very clean. Clean, clean Bernie Mac. Yeah. I could take that. Maybe but Kara, what were you saying? I miss stuff. Bernie Mac. He ain't bad. He no, ain't bad. I was, I was I listening to Bernie you guys. That's the piece, Bernie. Uh, yeah, I think I just saw something. Um, his wife was on, or somebody was on, um, talking about just his final words, you know. You're talking about Bernie? Yeah, I yeah. I saw I skimmed by a clip. I don't know. Anyways, um, guys, y'all, are y'all ready for this mutant strain <laughs> of... Vaccine? Uh, no, no, no. Of the virus. It's in the UK. There's a mutant oh, spurt, a strain. Blah, 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 blah. Why do mutant they keep making strain. up stuff and releasing it? So I don't know if this no, vaccine we have <laughs> is going to be effective against the mutant strain. Well, <laughs> I, I, the same. What's happening? I don't know. Well, I'm just so saying. If it doesn't work, they're like, oh, no, no, no. Because uh, you got the mutant strain. Yeah, there's a mutant strain. Uh, oh, I didn't think of it like that. Yes. And you're going to have to get another vaccine. Yes. Yeah. Money. And you got to have a boogeyman. Uh, <laughs> so even yeah, if you yeah. got the vaccine, there's still something out there to be afraid yeah. of. You got to be scared of you something. You're going to shut this shit down once again. We're going to control you some type of way if you fear. You Keep wearing your mask. Look. Stay woke. Don't go to sleep. Get some rest. That's a good way to do it too. <laughs> Listen, as long as schools are closed, mute, wow. mutate. Mutate on. Mutate on. Did y'all get? Uh, did y'all get any it. superpowers? I wake up with superpowers every day, baby. I was just about to say, Man, bro. Cookies put out like fifteen dozen in a day. Sure did. Oh. Nah, that's a fact. <laughs> She was in this John jamming. German. Whoa. I might need a plays with the J. I might need an industrial kitchen, man. Yeah, man. I might need to get it. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. awesome. But nah. Uh, with the powers. Yeah, the superpowers, man. They, 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 we supposed to get superpowers. Man. Black that was the stupidest thing. This video right. that Justin said is How hilarious. How do we know that's the time, though? No. How do we know what well, years we, is? You know, they done definitely manipulated the years. You know what I'm saying? You got leap years in the but midst no, that wasn't they, always they around. They added months. They added yeah, months. that's what I'm saying. Well, you, can go, you can just go simply to, uh, um, what's the joint where they do every year where they fall back and spring forward? They fuck with time every year. Excuse my language, Dad. We're gonna curse me. Are we, are we, are we yeah, toasting every time? Are we taking like, a sip every time? Somebody we need cuts. to. <laughs> no, you're right though. 
Yeah. Who knows they at this point? Change the time up, man. It might not really be 2020. It I think they're be. behind as far as the seasons. I think they're behind. Period. In terms of time. Probably. You think you think it might be really 1873. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Based on the stories they it told might, us. Might be though. Might be it might be 1738. Might be 2057. Nah, it's definitely 2057. It ain't really there yet. It's more close to 1738. You don't know. My point is you don't know. All of this is based on somebody that came up with a theory and was like, hey, let's start now. This is it. Mm-hmm. And everybody was like, you know what? That is it. <laughs> you are the wisest man that I know. Facts. And I don't have a way to communicate with anybody else further than a, a stone throw. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the pigeon? No, what they use a crow? Just make you the professor. A raven. They use a raven. A raven. Get this word out. To- Send a raven. <laughs> Send this to Kingdom Buns <laughs> and alert him. Sir, <laughs> sir, <laughs> shall I prepare the smoke for the signals? <laughs> Thou doesn't want to be smoked, sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> oh, hey, yo, how do we get here, man? That is no, funny. that's funny. No, that video that uh, you sent with the three, it was like hood yeah. people oh, did with Super Bowl. What, 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 Hey guys, yeah, RDC TV here. Uh, we know it's the 21st and we see you guys with your capes. Uh, we were trying to see if you would explain how you're going to use your powers for good. Explain? Nigga, we ain't explaining <laughs> shit, nigga. Hey, hey, this is news, huh? Hey, at the days of niggas explaining shit to y'all niggas, that shit is over. I'm going to tell you that right no, now. No, 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 but what we can do is flex these powers on your head, top. Yeah. Hey, hey, show him what you can do real fast. Show 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 Hey, that's, that, that's only one power he got. One. That's fine. Hey, show him, show him, show him. You, you up next, go on. Go on. Go on. Hey, and we call that nigga Fuck Flat. Yes, we got hero names. What you think mine is? He oh, He's the boy. Hey, you know what it is. Hey, hold on, hold on. Let him come back. Jump man! Stop playing with him! Stop playing with him! Stop playing! So, now that we got these powers, we want to enact a few changes for y'all. The first thing is, how y'all did us in the 1700s and 1800s, that's how we're going to do y'all. Wait, 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 what do you mean? What you mean? You stupid? What do you mean? I said, what y'all did to us in the 1700s and 1800s, that's what we're going to do to y'all. So, if y'all did good to us, y'all ain't got nothing to worry about. Yeah, exactly. you know. Are you referring to slavery? Hey, nigga, you oh, said about us! Hey, you hey, said that! You said that! Hey, you said that! Hey, you said that. Hey, you said that. <laughs> That's oh, all we said. Man. Hey, in them six hundred dollars stimulus checks, y'all gonna live off that shit. Yeah, y'all live exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. Y'all hey, got that. Y'all vaccines, y'all doing that shit first. Everything that y'all made us do, you doing. Mm-hmm. Cause how you gonna stop us? What you gonna Not do? saying we gonna do nothing. But how you gonna stop us? <laughs> Hey, so I just want to tell you one more thing real fast. Hey, we a new Justice League. You know what I'm saying? Four flat, jump man. He up. We a new Justice League. Y'all gonna do what we say, all right? Now broadcast this to everybody. Cause if we don't see this broadcasting, we gonna come see y'all. We gonna come see y'all, all right? So Justice League, who? Who? Yeah, Bo Flat, Jumpman, Heater, and every other black person you see. <laughs> 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 right now. <laughs> Yo, Steven. Inside joke alert. <laughs> <laughs> everybody watching like. We're so funny. <laughs> I don't get it. That is over here rolling. How did we get here? Hey, have y'all heard of the universal hot crazy matrix theory? What? Uh-uh. Oh, we about to find out right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the universal hot crazy matrix. It's everything a young man needs to know about women. Um, I've developed this on my own over 46 years of living on the earth. So this is how it works. You have your crazy axis and your hot axis. Hot is, as usual, measured from 0 to 10. We're all familiar with that. Crazy is measured from 4 to 10 because, of course, there's no such thing as a woman who's not at least a 4 crazy. So you got 4 to 10. This is your hot crazy line right here. Very important that you keep in mind where the hot crazy line is. 
as a rule, this is your no-go zone. We do not hang around and date and marry women who are not, at least in our mind, a five. Um, so this is your no-go zone. You don't go here. We just rule this out. Life is better this way. That's the way it is. All right. Um, above a five and to about an eight, and below the crazy line, this is your fun zone. You can hang out here and, and, and uh, meet these girls and spend time with them. That's your fun zone, but keep in mind when you're in the fun zone, you want to move out of the fun zone to a more permanent location. Okay, um, so that's the fun zone above a five, hot, below an eight, hot, and below the crazy line. This means these are most of the time not crazy. Okay. Above the danger zone, above the, uh, above the crazy line, we have the danger zone. This is your redheads, your strippers, anyone named Tiffany. Um, hairdressers. This is hairdressers. This is, where, this is where your car gets keyed, you get a bunny in the pot, uh, your tires get slashed, and you wind up in jail. Um, now, now that we have some of the chart filled in, we've got a couple more pieces to put in, but at this point, understand something. This is not a static environment. This is a situation where you have got to uh, use this matrix over time to develop some reliable data. It's like a dope chart, okay? You ought, because at any moment in time, any woman that you have previously located on this chart can vanish from that location and appear anywhere else on the chart. So what you have to do is over time collect some data and once you have a cluster of data points, you can begin to consider that reliable. Now, moving on, you have this zone here. This is below the crazy line, above an eight hot, but still, you know, about a seven crazy. This is your date zone. You can stay in the date zone indefinitely. These are women that you introduce to your friends and your family. Um, they're, they're good looking and they're reasonably not crazy most of the time. Okay? So this is, you can stay here indefinitely. Now, above an eight hot and between about a seven and a five crazy, this is your wife zone. Okay? When you meet this girl, you should consider a long term relationship. Uh, this zone is not scaled to size. This, this, is a, this is a representation and not an actual, this is not a pie chart showing you how many of these people are out there. This is simply a, a representation of what you're after. You want to be five to seven crazy above an eight hot. That's your wife's zone, okay? Now, below a five crazy and above an eight hot, this is your unicorn zone. These things don't exist. If you find a unicorn, please capture it safely, keep it alive. We'd like to study it and maybe look at how to replicate that, okay? So I was explaining this to a guy one time, and he said, wait a minute. I met this girl, and she's like smoking hot. She's like at least a nine, and she's chill. She's co totally cool. She's like not even a three crazy. I said, you're telling me you've met a girl, she's a nine hot, and she's like a two or a three crazy. He said, yeah, man, I like her a lot. I said, you should be careful. That's a dude. You're talking to a tranny. <laughs> so you got your, you got to be careful because down here below a four crazy and above an eight hot, you're probably talking to a dude. <laughs> that is the universal hot crazy. Hot crazy man. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say this is the same dude who wrote the spreadsheet. Okay. <laughs> It's the same guy. Nah. Uh, a little bit more than nah. I think he got more of an understanding of how things this work. This was before he met you know his wife. Okay? Nah. Well, I think that dude. Have y'all ever heard the theory the hotter they are, the crazier they are? You That's basically that what that is. Essentially, to a degree, to a degree. That's what he's saying, like. And I slightly agree with that. I mean, yeah, because if you can find somebody that's hot, that's not crazy, like their craziness doesn't match their hotness, that's a unicorn. That's a unicorn, bro. That's because something you have that's to like, understand whoa, what is how attractive this? women are treated. 
to in throughout the course of their life. Yes. I'm just saying that y'all are attractive women. What I'm saying is like extreme, oh, she know? No, I'm just telling you, like attractive women on a matrix are treated no matter what, no where they go, are treated way differently than everybody else. Facts. No yes. matter what, we talk about from grade school yes. to boys, all the way up to professors, yes. and to they know jobs, it, and they know it, yes. and and there's levels of reality in terms of life that they don't grasp, and they don't feel like they have to, they don't feel like they should. Oh, and don't let them have daddy issues. God <laughs> damn, you uh, entangle all that into one thing. Hey, I need to sit down and talk with that brother a little uh, bit more. I felt you vibing with what he's saying to Bruh. say. I don't know if you can do a side by he's side. He's dating a lot of people, I can tell. He oh, has he's speaking. Of, listen, he's, he has a lot of experience. His reaction to what we just saw is spot on. That joint is 97.9% accurate. Are we right or wrong, hey? <laughs> hey, says <Sanchez. Yeah. laughs> <laughs> if you call her hey, in one more episode, <laughs> you been doing it off camera too. Huh? <laughs> I thought that was funny though. I thought that was, that interesting. was funny, especially was with funny. the Tiffany part. Yeah, the Tiffany part is funny. That's, that's a whole that's video. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's an old video. You've seen it before. It is old. Yeah, it's yeah, very it's, old. It's, yeah. But, but it's, somebody it's, showed it to me, and that was new funny. to me. I, 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 I wasn't. No, I wasn't privy to that. Yo, why we on old videos? Right. Please tell me y'all saw the Ugandan parliament. Oh, oh. There you go. <laughs> there it is. I won. All right, I won. Oh. Sorry. Oh no no no! I, I you didn't do it. Call it immediately. You better edit that out. <laughs> nope. 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 <laughs> no, please tell me y'all saw the Ugandan Parliament. They were really having a kung fu fight in in, no. in Parliament. No, it's an no. old video, but it is in Uganda. Oh, yes, yeah, like their Congress. Up. Please let's look at this. This is so funny. Yo, mm -hmm. this you got to fight is hilarious. I mean, you didn't think it was that funny? Can you yeah. imagine our Congress scrapping like that? Man, they probably need to. <laughs> they probably do. Man. People should be this bad about that six hundred dollar um I don't stimulus do check. Nobody told me about the words intelligence. It's only when it's aggression. That's my theory about how passionate you are you based on your intelligence level. Oh. Oh. So your theory is the what's the matrix? Explain your matrix. No, I, I, <laughs> no, I, no, I see what you're saying. What? What is the theory? I see what you're saying. The more aggressive you are, the no. less intelligent you. The more intelligent you are, the you're able to articulate yourself 
with words. Right. Right? You know how babies get frustrated because they can't talk. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Temper tantrums. So they they just, ah! Temper tantrums. That's usually how it works with adults, too. You can't articulate yourself, so you may get... That's just a human nature. A temper tantrum. It's not a... Yeah, a human nature. It's human nature. I think, I think the that's more intelligent theory. you are, that's the more you, the more wordy you'll be. I, I, yeah, I, I actually think that and you can express your whatever yeah, you're feeling. You can express yeah. it. Yeah, not necessarily wordy, but the more the more inclined oh, you are to yeah. express yourself with words. I just think I just versus think, somebody think, that's less intelligent is going to spaz out and just start tripping. I just yeah, but never do. I just yeah. think that <laughs> not levels, necessarily with words. That different levels of communication. Nah, yeah. And there are people. When you talking who are about better, humans, hold on. There are people. Yeah, there are. There are. You can't say. You can't say. Nah, there's not different levels of communication. Nah, there, bro. I don't see how you disagree with this because you are intelligent. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. But okay, what I'm saying is that theory is like. I, I think it's more about communication. I think understanding yes. communication. Yes. Communicate and that's that's the intelligence and communication goes hand goes in hand, hand, brother. Hand. To be able to understand communication to at its core is an intelligence. Yes. Boom. That's what intel is. I will agree with that. <laughs> I will agree with that. But it's definitely more of a communication thing, right? Yes. That's Having, what it all that's the basis only of it all. Being able to communicate in one way Nigga. is is a very limited That is yeah. the basis of all yeah. This, this Non-peace mind. in the world. Mm-hmm. Communication. Mm-hmm. But this is just the daily joint. This ain't the seasonal joint. All right, let's get back to the show, y'all. My bad. Yeah. My bad. You got anything else? Yeah, for that us? video. That video was. Yeah. Cool. All right. I was just letting y'all, we should, we you should know. Play I like your frames, by the way. Thank you. I like them joints. Thank uh, you. Them are Ernest Hemingway joints. Hey, I thought that was true. <laughs> I'm trying to pull those off. They don't look right They look a little small for Thank your face. I'm going to keep it real. I they like look, them joints. It? They might well, be. That's, that's the style. To. Yeah, that's yeah. the style of them it's joints. Then they're the Hemingway joints. I like uh, them joints. I don't, I don't think I could pull it off, but you know. You know who Malcolm Little is, though. Malcolm Little, Malcolm, Malcolm X. Y'all, so you did you know that the Catholic Church sued the DC mayor? The Catholic Church sued. The and DC they mayor. look like they're winning. So the DC I'm sure mayor, they're the mayor win. of DC. The Catholic Church. Yeah. So right. So the mayor. <laughs> Him and Disney, nigga. Hey. They won yeah, that's everything. like the United States versus Jonathan Kerry. Hey. Who you think will win that fight? So <laughs> hold on, man. Hold on. So now. there's an update. You don't know what that brother Jonathan Kerry got going on. Hey, you there. might have a vicious lawyer, Jonathan. He Kerry. might. He That's never know. Gotta... Wait, who is the John Kerry verse? If, but if you don't have a vicious lawyer, <laughs> who's the first? I, I was I was reading my article. I'm saying, that brother Jesus, so, he might have something special going on. So at DC Ist, you guys were talking about Ist earlier. Oh, um, so gave an update. DC Mayor Bowser removed the 50 person limit for religious gatherings days after the Catholic Archdiocese of Washington sued her over attendance caps. Look who flexed on their asses. Talk about the money. Yeah. yeah. They flexed on their asses. Yeah. It's all about the money. If it ain't about the money. So we can, we can sue, nope. uh, what's her name then? Yep. Angela yeah. also works. Yeah, you can for County stuff. Yeah. Y'all ain't got that type of flex power. We ain't got that type of flex. Yeah. We ain't got that type of money. Y'all muscles ain't <laughs> enough. Now see, we ain't no Catholic that church money. That is pride. I don't get together enough. What? That is pride. What? what? That whole thing. Oh, we're gonna sue. Let's sue them for this. Facts. Like, oh, that's a private because we know we can. We we have people in this position. Yeah. And but go back to what he was saying. Is pride a bad thing? Because it's gonna help them. I think. I think all of the pros. All the cons completely outweigh any pro in terms of pride. Mm. Let, let's say that. I didn't ever say uh, it was possibly a good thing. I just said that it could be good to have pride in certain, certain situations. So, l- so don't, it's possibly so, good. So, so wait, hold on. So it's don't give me good instances. Don't get me pride. wrong. Being proud is different from being prideful. You understand that? But right? love, right? Is you're saying you're stronger than pride. <laughs> this nigga <laughs> showing these, uh, quoting Deezy. So that's, that's another article right says they did it for Christmas. Um, asking, yeah. What? They did it so people could celebrate Christmas. So they wanted the attendance caps. They wanted everybody to celebrate Christmas. Catholics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Catholics well, you know, celebrate Christmas? Yeah. Yeah. Look at, that's where Christianity really? come from. Man, Rome this time of year? Whew. Not like it. 
Wait, Catholics said Wait a minute. Christmas. Catholics they created use the Bible? The Christmas story. Do Catholics yeah. use the Bible? Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, they're but like Christianity isn't. Manipulate Christmas Christianity. isn't in the Bible. Christianity stems from Catholic. Catholic. Yes. It does, but Christmas is not in the Bible. Of it's, not. it's not. It's not That's in the Bible. I call it Christ. I saw your meme. Was that you? But why do they push? What? Wait a minute. No, no, there's very Christmas religion. is not in the Bible. There are Bible. very little religions that okay. go by scripture. There are certain But they th claim to be biblically based. Right. And when they are brought to that, they use certain scriptures to, to prove their justify. point and omit others. There's no, gotcha. there's no Or they don't use it in the context of which it was correct. originally. There's whatever. no certain scripture right. for Christmas though. There isn't. Pro, what, pro Christmas ain't in the Bible, no. <laughs> What were the nah. disciples? Disciples weren't Christians. <laughs> Put it up. Nah. Yeah, well. And they were, they, were to, they were supposed to be the closest people to, to Christ. Who? The disciples. Yeah, they weren't Christians. Right, but they Christians. were but they not Catholic, Catholic, though. They weren't, weren't Christians Catholic, either. They weren't Christians either. No, they were just they weren't followers. They were Catholic, Christians. Y'all are headed down a rabbit hole. No, we're not. That's the rabbit hole. Right there. Yeah, that's it. Rabbit can't go that's no further. That's as yeah, that that far as it goes. Anybody that got something to say about that, they need to read their Bible again. It definitely goes further, but yeah. All right, yes, we know. Thank it you. turns out a mole <laughs> hole at that point. All right. <laughs> Dribble hole. Next topic. Should a man let a woman know that he that he's dating? I'm sorry. Ooh. Let me read that again. Should a man let a woman it. know that he's dating? That a he's woman, dating that, yeah, that he's, he's dating. been with other men? This yeah. is. Should a man let a woman know oh, that, that he's dating? Why you always got to bring stuff like that? that he's, he's been that's that one guy that's been with the transvestite? This has been floating around this week. Let's has it been? What circles are you in? So if a man is dating a woman, should he let her know that he's been with other men? But didn't we already discuss this before? Really no. Kind of. I felt we'd like we did, but well, let me just say. I was with them. It was experience, but it happened. Oh, okay, but it wasn't yeah. It wasn't nothing where I just kept like going back to that shit happened, and then like we never talked again. So it was because it was experimental. You didn't feel the need to explain. Exactly. Like that. That's it's a lot of that nigga from that show. It's a yeah, lot of is going on. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on. She would have reacted differently to the Jeffree Star <laughs> situation had she known that you had been attracted to guys before. This no, is a rabbit hole to too. Way because this is a hole. I don't know about rabbit. Oh, this is Jeffree Star. Oh, stinky zipper hole. That's the basketball player. Oh, we we already came to a conclusion about him. We don't need to go there. It's like sexual history. Before they were together, to she can handle it. Yeah, but at the end of the day, how I feel is, I don't give a fuck what a girl did before I met him. I don't care. Sexual attraction to men in the past and now, or whatever. So you trying to justify? I don't think that we should go down the rabbit hole of whether he should have did it, whether it was men or not. He cheated on his woman with a man, and just leave it at that. With a man, at that. Deception is deception. It wasn't with No, a man. it makes a difference though. Oh. Let's just let's just Oh, it wasn't with a man. But either way it's so wrong. So we did discuss the situation, it's but this is a new video. You know it it is. Either way it's wrong though, I man. Go down the yeah, deception is deception and that's yes. that. Can we all agree that deception is wrong? So he yes, has a I. history of deception. It's even more of deception because Is deception man. wrong though? Deception is a form of lying. I Done. You know, Moving along. <laughs> all right, I got um Y'all not gonna feel me on this. I already know. You don't know. But Tiffany made the me. Hand. Feel you. The oh, hand. The hand. The hand. I'm gonna feel you. Just hand. Just hand. Just do so you, you watch R H O P? Real House. Oh, why? Okay. Real Housewives of Potomac. Uh, so that show yeah, is filmed know. here, and there was a huge, right. a huge uh, episode, or the reunion episode. Oh. Um, where Giselle, who is the ex-wife of Jamal right Bryant. This is happening. I was sitting here like, this Oh, is really? No. This is happening. Thank you. Giselle, the ex-wife of Jamal Bryant, she she basically got called out right. because she's kind of like a villain on the show. Some people don't like her. Mm -hmm. um, this is reality TV, right? On Real Housewives of Potomac. <laughs> reality TV. Reality TV. So. Nah, audience might not have. Oh. So some people don't like Giselle, but you know she's beautiful. She's what you would think of if you don't know who she is. Depends on what you call beautiful. Depends on yeah. Depends on what you she's call beautiful. beautiful. So she looks like she's a little light little skin. Little. She looks like you a little bit. She looks. She doesn't look she's like beautiful. me, but she's oh, light skin. I you said she was beautiful. I'm sorry. Green. Oh, thank you. She's light skin, green eyes. She's what a lot of people. Your those Euro features that people love. Yes. All right. 
So, um, she's the ex-wife of Jamal Bryant. Do you know who he is? That sounds sure. familiar. All right. Preacher dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a preacher from Baltimore. Yeah, he's yeah, been yeah. known to be very loinful. So, uh, um, basically, yeah, a, pray for that man. another cast member has put Giselle on the spot, blew it up in her face like, hey, I got receipts. Jamal, you say you're with Jamal. Jamal, has, she, was, she read out his phone number. Is it is his number four one zero? Blah blah. They had to bleep out the rest of the numbers, okay. right? So Jamal Bryant gets, and I'm getting to where I'm going. Okay, yeah, yeah. He I'm, gets upset. He's not at the reunion like most husbands. I don't know why. Maybe he was. Busy. Oh, he's with. Oh, he's currently married to her. He's no. That's his ex wife. They've rekindled gotcha, things. Gotcha, gotcha. So um, he's not at the reunion. Instead, he goes to social media. And this clip you need to show. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So roll it up. <laughs> so he basically goes off on the girl who, because first, first of all, the girl that he was allegedly cheating with so sent right. receipts to the cast the, to the girl who brought it up on the show. Why sent pictures, sent all this stuff, right? Why? He he sent this to the girl on the show. No, the girl the one he was with. cheating with sent it to the girl on the show. To so the girl on the show that brought it up brought it up to make Giselle his ex wife look dumb. The, so, Giselle is on the show as well. Giselle was on the as, show along with the girl. Oh no, the girl the that, girl the other girl brought it up to. Brought it up. She's on the show and Giselle's on the show. I'm trying to follow you. <laughs> ex wife and side piece. Okay. Ex wife and side piece. So, girl B, who's no, not no, no, ex wife no, no, or no, side no, piece, no, is right. on the show. No. With Giselle? Hold on. A show member. Hold on. Side piece. Was texted oh, oh, by a side piece. Yes. Receipts. The show yeah. member is girl B. No, let's put some names. So, Monique oh, is no. the another cast. I know. Don't show name. piece. She's a show member. Hey. Show member. Text was texted I by the, ex, so the ex side piece. The, the side piece receipts that Jamal Brown was, was smashing her. And the ex wife is on was, the show. And the ex wife is on the show. So okay. the show member presented these receipts to the, the ex wife. -wife. These rece receipts said what now? That he was cheating on there her? There were pictures. There was she called out his real cell phone number. Um, what did this prove? And the girl, and his yeah, ex-wife you know. admitted it. His ex-wife was on the show looking like she was like stoic. Like she looked like she wanted to cry. She knew and about she it. She was like, that's his number. She didn't know oh. she was going to be called out. Now, some people say <clears throat> that she might have known about this. Or... So what What about this? I'm definitely so my thing is, is, my whole reason of bringing this up is Jamal Bryant responds. Here's a clip. He responds in a hoodie that says, I am... Um, I'm, I'm an, an African, African angel. angel. Oh, he's African. <laughs> no, no, but what's up with this man? So a lot of people, he brought out a binder, which is the same way that his ex-wife got read. The girl brought out this binder. Was like, oh, I have all my receipts Nobody's in this African. binder. So it's dramatics. But anyway, my point is, it was a huge discussion the, this dramatic. past two weeks because, you know, he's a pastor. He's the pastor of he's New Birth Minute. Ministry, so a lot of people were saying, Well, job. maybe uh, he shouldn't yeah. be responding to this kind of stuff, he shouldn't be but engaged. No, he his, should respond, but no, his job is to like be his job a really messenger. He was hired as a pastor, right? Of a church, so they pay him a salary, right? They, so, he so his job is to be a pastor, he could potentially pastor. lose his job with this type of information, correct? I see what you're saying. This right, type man. of behavior, carry on, right? 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 Okay. okay. And earlier, I'm gonna. Uh, but I've been busy campaigning around the state of Georgia. So As he's are, saying he's too busy not, for this. Fact, operate in, all right, we gotta go back uh, to the uh, pre-production exactly. show. show what? Do we want to talk about this? Show the text messages. Uh, oh, y'all don't want to talk about this. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where are we going. Does anybody this care? What's the punchline? Yes. This is good. Okay. All right. So this was good stuff. <laughs> so do you think a pastor should be behaving like this? No, okay. no Fair one enough. should be behaving like that, whether it's a pastor or so not. Is it true that he was cheating on? No him? one should be cheating. No one should be dishonest. Why is do we it have true that he deception was is wrong? So and some people may have this. This deception this is a little complex. Bit so the reality is pastor. that there are pastors who are not on Jamal Bryant's level across this country okay. that are involved in scandals just like this. Correct. Is the deception involved? Yeah, then they're just wrong. like then this. They're wrong. No, my thing but is, should they be responding on? 
well, on social media. What from say? what I understand, his livelihood is based on the so public. So I'll opinion. tell you how he yeah. ended it. So that's why he's because doing this. He said things like, "Oh, you guys have." Um, what did he say? Oh, I can't remember what, now. What, you guys yeah, what me was off. this? What was his response? That's his response was he addressed the side chick. Okay. He addressed so what um, what Prince, say about Prince to address Samuel. The side he said chick. the side chick was just basically trying to get famous. She's a preacher. Another but she preacher. is a side chick. No, they dated. He said that him and, his wife. him and Giselle got divorced during that time, uh, 10, 11 years. Mm -hmm. He was dating. And he dated oh, this so woman. Oh, so she wasn't a side chick. No, not necessarily. Just somebody who so didn't. It didn't work out. So she's just trying to get so some fame. So where's the deception? That's what he's saying. So the deception is in that G Giselle's trying to make it seem like, oh, they're back together, everything's all perfect. Right. And so what did he say? This other show member said, uh, it's not. yeah, it's not. He's still. You guys, you claim that you're back together, but he's actually been cheating. She tried to make it look like. So was the it proven that he was cheating? The cheating, cheating is happening now. Was it's it proven that he was cheating? He refuted it, so there is no proof, but word on the street, basically. I mean, well, we don't have nothing to go off of. Mm -hmm. Well, now if it was some circum, if it was substantial evidence that he was cheating, I don't think this he is going to get more people to watch our show. He <laughs> ends this by saying, "I don't know, man. This you, type of um, shit is popular, man. He, li he I'm ends this you, by this saying, type of shit is popular, man. I live shit. in Atlanta. I'm just talking shit. I'm you talking guys shit. just don't want to hear about how I'm just talking come shit. On, come but on, he sorry. ends it by saying, I, I live in Atlanta, but I'm from Baltimore. That's his sign off from this video. <laughs> After you know, nobody. So he said, I'm down here with. These guys, but I ain't one of them. No, yeah, he's basically saying I'll f you up if you if you uh, want to go. That's there. the oh to no, say that no, nobody from Atlanta no, f nobody up. Right. He's talking to Chris Samuels and Monique who put all his business out. Chris there. Samuels from the so rest. Yes. So now he's threatening people. Yes, yes. His the wife. side girl. No, Chris oh. Samuels' wife is the one who Chris got Samuels the information from the side girl. girl. Yes. Oh, so he's saying, look, Slim. You keep on. Oh, so I, I said Chris Samuels. Now y'all nigga interested. No, I just no, I <laughs> gave me a frame of reference. I ain't So he like, oh, oh, oh nigga, I get with you. So he yeah, says that go. Chris Samuels has CTE. Like, he says that I don't think he wanted with Chris Samuels. No, I think he wanted with Chris Samuels. Nah, I don't I'm think. Saying, realistically, just looking at this brother, I don't think he wanted with Chris Samuels. Chris Samuels made a career of. Pushing niggas on their back. Let me tell you what he told. Let me tell you what he yes. said to Chris Samuels and his wife. He said, "Y'all might have had my phone number because remember I said she called out his phone mm -hmm. number right. on national TV." All right. He said, "You got my phone number, but I got your address." So, oh, so he's saying he gonna send somebody he, to no, his house? He was saying if y'all want to Chris take, Samuels, I come on here and be like, "Come on, he need to play the biggie joint." Come on, mm -hmm. my. Come on. And he also Come said on. this. Oh, Chris sorry, Samuel said, I'm I said sorry. this already. <laughs> he also said yeah, that Chris Samuel has CTE. CTE. He has CTE? He or alleges he? that he has CTE. This is a football player. And that's why um, Chris Samuel's wife is taking But Chris Samuel aggression. don't have nothing to do with this. That's his wife. Chris Sa I'm telling you, you need to watch off. Housewives tomorrow. Chris Samuels goes off on Housewives tomorrow. On, on, on who? On him. On Giselle. His ex, Jamal's ex-wife. So he's Why? mad that she did this. Why he's not mad at the wife. He's mad. Okay, so the rumor on G Giselle's telling everybody the this word. This is why we street, taking right taking auditions for a new female cast member. Oh, because we need really? somebody else here to connect the dots with Kiki. Because clearly we aren't getting it. They're not interested in this. I'm gonna just be You're quiet. Doing a bad job hold on, hold on. Why is Chris Sanders mad at this Giselle? This is a good show. Why Chris Samuels, why is Chris Samuels mad at Giselle? Because Giselle let everybody know the rumor that was floating around that. I thought Chris Samuels, Samuel's wife did. Just let her finish. Chris Samuels' wife, her name is Monique. It was allegedly that Monique's baby wasn't Chris Samuels. Giselle oh, told everybody because oh. that uh, it's oh, alleged so that Monique mad about that. Monique has been sleeping with her trainer allegedly, and uh, told everybody that. Giselle didn't start the rumor. She just told everyone. That the baby ain't Chris. Possibly. So Chris yeah. being petty. So Chris doesn't like Giselle, yeah. So he, he he's like, oh, up, you're trying oh, to break up my family. Oh, but really, your husband is the yeah, one. Yeah, you're in everybody else's business. Chris being um, chatty patty. Yeah, so tomorrow's yeah, episode of Housewives. About, 
I'm sorry I brought this up with you. It just wasn't the time or the place for any of you. I think, like I told you. I'm not mad at you, but I think you, you should know your you audience. Should, oh, okay. Never should, mind. Should, I need a warning. The I'm sorry. audience. Moving like on. It. The audience you might like seen, it. You should have seen how she was. Was it the presentation? That what's, that little, what's that thing you was on? What's the app called? Oh, are you guys on Clubhouse? Clubhouse app. No, clearly uh, we aren't. How do you oh. know this stuff? Do you know what Clubhouse is? No. I don't. It sounds like something that's not. I so, definitely think a lot of. Uh, do you remember like with chat voice room? Voice be on there. No, it's not. It's for everybody. It's literally for No. Everybody. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> the Bama who so, gave a rundown on how you work the app and how you use the app. He had a little voice. precipitation. Was What's his voice? Right. First of all, there are like do hundreds they, of thousands okay. of rooms. Okay, let me just let me, ask you, okay, let me ask you a question. Now this room, do they, do they, they not tend to flock together? I don't know. You don't think moistness follows moistness? I don't know. It's getting damp. Hey, what's the definition of moistness, y'all? Uh-huh. <laughs> what's the definition of moisture? Oh, well, 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 you know, you know, there are things in this regular state. All right. Most of the time, it is. Uh, it's, it's together. All right. It is a harder state of consistency. <laughs> All right. Right. But when you add moisture, moisture to things, okay. it gets a little bit softer. Oh. Things get a little bit more uh, uh, softer. You ever see? You ever see them try to destruct a building? All you right. ever notice why they always putting water on it? They spray water on the drape. You ain't think about that? You know why? I didn't know they even spray water. Yes, on the whenever, there. whenever, niggas, this so, nigga be watching whenever, shit. Whenever, whenever, whenever they demolish a building, I thought they just hit the, with the uh, no. They spray it they down spray with it a water hose to soften it. To soften it. That's a concrete building. Concrete. Yes, but not those steel buildings. Sure. Fine. Whatever. The point is, that's what I'm thinking about. Point the is, building. moisture. I don't know. Them, it's to not be a lot of but I have building. seen them spray yeah. to soften buildings. Yeah. It could be concrete. Concrete or one of them. I'm uh, not a. Uh, hey, what you call it? Hey, look, hey, look. When, when a stonemason. Ladies, when y'all get y'all when y'all go get y'all right. toes done, they, y'all don't go in there and they don't just start working on your feet. What do they do to them first? Soak them. They moist. They soak them. They moisturize. They moisturize them to soften them up. So soft. That's the best. So part. moisture is a softening. It's a, it's a softening. softening. It's a soft it's a softener. It's a soft, it's a soft treatment. It's a, a, a soft feature. It's a softener. What does this have to do with cloud? I just want I just want the, the viewers to know what moisture is. Moisture is very important to this show. Yes. You need to understand because that word will be is. used. It'll be thrown around very casually. Or more than so one Clubhouse is the media. new social media. Is and there a lot of moisture relative involved in Clubhouse? I would say it's been around for maybe a month or so. I don't know. Okay. But uh, the premise is it's kind of like. Nobody here has anything against moisture. We're just calling it what it is. It's kind um, of. It it's invite only. So it makes it kind of like what Facebook to me was like when it first came out. Remember, you had to have a college uh, email address to even sign up for Facebook. Nah, Maybe I'm aging you had myself. To have a school. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Well, it was a college, college. Yeah. before it was school. Yeah. Before it was just a That's school. What college is. No, but no. at first it was just a university. Yeah. You had to have an EDU jump. Yeah. No, you didn't. Yes, you yes, did. Yes, you did. In the oh. very beginning. The you very did. beginning. You did not. You, did. you just had to say. Yes. You just had to say, I go to this school. That was yes, after no. that. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. How y'all know? Back in 2002, uh, you so had to you, you put in your EDU? Yes. You I did. still sign in with my EDU. <gasps> I still sign it with my because I never changed it. I I didn't. Well, shut it. your mouth. No, all right. I no, didn't I'm just because I didn't, have, I didn't know my my uh, Bowie State I'm password. So no, that's I a had wait, to me. I had to yeah. wait until they opened it up for until everybody, everybody, or yeah. schools. Or you could say then. school, yeah. Yeah. what school you went to. Yeah, but huh. so Clubhouse is kind of like that in that you have to be um, nominated to enter the Clubhouse. So okay. you can you can. It's not for save your strategies. handle. You can log mm-hmm. in and save your handle, but you can't get in until somebody invites you in. Um, most people start with only one invite, and then they, uh, the more active you become, possibly the more invites the app. You got to get more app invites? Oh, so you can have multiple invites to send to people. 
No, you start off with one. Right, but but if you're active, active and you get followers and stuff like that, they'll give you um, more advice. So right now, it's still kind of um, I hate to use the word elite, but but once you get in, um, but it is what it is. Once you get in, there's different rooms that anybody can create the room. I could create a room, Uh but um, people join based off of your title. So some people do a lot of clickbait stuff. There have been some really good like business connections in there. Like if you're a, one room I dropped into, they were talking about real estate, but commercial real estate. What's the joint um, called again? It's called Clubhouse. Clubhouse. Um, I mean, it gets ratchet. Like there's a real housewife. And that's what you me. like, isn't it? Th- Let's talk about that. I, I mean, is that the part that you like about the show? Kiki's ratchet corner. No, that's the part that I like about just life. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so I get it. No, they have ratchet rooms too. I guess ratchet, but most of the people here uh, on there are doing it for some kind of business connections. You know, if you like working out, they could, there's a working out room talking about the best, whatever you're thinking, producing. Okay. Uh, for amateurs, then you got that kind of thing as well. So it's, it, it's something for everybody music education, you know, technology. Okay. Um, yeah. So what, is it black on? so what you heard, I think they said Kevin Hart um, has owns a part of it. Yeah, but he, he got in, room there. he got in trouble um, allegedly because he uh, they said whoever I was talking to said he recorded a conversation which is against the rules. So here's the thing: if you get in trouble on Clubhouse, not only do out. you get kicked out, but the person who recommended you gets kicked out. Oh. So you have to be. Uh, you can't have a conversation though. You can't. Have you can't a, record a you can't record especially without them knowing oh he was doing the sneak move so if you yeah, record it with them knowing it's okay. not, it might not have been with him them knowing deceptive. as long as they it might know. not have been him he might have just was doing it because he's like you know and then he got in trouble he might just record everything because he's a well he might have thought it was funny yeah actually, he recorded entertainer he i that. would i ain't gonna lie yeah. yeah you know what i'm saying if i was and sense. he probably thought that you know Oh, I ain't not gonna have it for me recording. Or if something does, I need to be able. The to... The app has only been live for I don't know a month or two, and it's already worth one hundred million dollars. So how did he get oh, in yeah. trouble? This is in theory. I think he got kicked off. I, I have to do more research. Don't see him. I'm gonna be out here. It's Boston, all kinds bro. of people in Clubhouse. Don't see I mean, Hamley, celebrities. Y'all. Um, is right now is really like the celebrities are active in in the rooms. Clubhouse need to throw us some love off this. They should. You should reach this out is, to Clubhouse. This is promotion. Sure that, yeah, it is. You are really promoting Clubhouse right now. Did you Why know you that? Yeah. Y'all, I feel like y'all are um, ganging Davidson up on me. Oh. Do you know Paul Davis? Look what you're forcing us to talk about. Yeah. Y'all don't want to talk about oh, Clubhouse. Oh, that's a white dude. It's not even black on. Oh. Yeah. Well, guess that's, that's not the question. That's racist. So you're not going to use it because it's not black on. I mean, that's, some, that's not racist, though, if you decide to do that, just so you know. Is that racist? No. It's not, is it? No, it's not. It's not. Uh-uh. No. Nah. But if you choose to do something because that's what you want to support, then that's okay. Facts. You, you could decide where your money goes. I like that. Maybe that's, maybe it's based on me liking it. I mean, people do it. Asians do it. and Indians All these other it. groups do it except for us. We yeah. do it sometimes. We do it because we convenient. think it's racist. We do it as convenient. All right, y'all want to talk about Kobe? We think racism is bad. Oh, we're not doing this. We're not doing y'all this. Y'all want to talk okay. about Kobe? Right. Okay. No. 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 no we're doing this. Kobe Did y'all get the Grinches? <laughs> the who? The Grinches? Is that what the they're called? Oh uh, man, them joints Ben came out. You late, y'all? She's trying to. She's trying to. Oh, they re-released them. She's trying. Does anybody care about Kobe? Yeah, you. Yeah, people are. Duh, even before that. People would have been like, oh, we're going to talk about Kobe Bryant's legacy, green shoes. Legacy, legacy. If he didn't die. Legacy. Really? They would have sold out again. They would have still sold die. out again. Yeah, they sold fact. out. No, Does anybody care? Jay, sold out every day. They're worth more. Nah. And Vanessa Bryant, we um, Sierra's She's just son. making an effort to talk about something that she thinks that we give I got something we can talk about. That's exactly what she I know. It is terrible. See, the Kobe's aren't important to you guys? No. Y'all don't, you are a tennis shoe fanatic. No, I'm not. But he ain't wearing no Kobe's, though. I ain't never seen him with a pair of Kobe's on. I saw I Sierra's son, Vanessa Bryant. That's what I'm saying. That's the point I'm making. This is a feeble attempt. 
That's the point you're trying to make. Y'all are shooting down. Man, it ain't like them joints tight. For you real, know, for I real. I don't really like the Kobe's. They not. No, nah, I don't like them. They, right. they do that with people just because they want to be Jordan. That model of Kobe. LeBron's. That model of Kobe was actually cool, though. Them joints the was cool. Ones, the low tops? The, yeah, the, the ones with the cool. gray. Oh, oh, that okay. model, though. The joints was cool. Oh, okay. But I they like wasn't the tight. Better. It wasn't like, man, them things nah, is even, vicious. Even the LeBron James Jones ain't tight. Them Jones ain't tight. Some of them Jones are. Nah. nah. Some of them Jones is jive vicious, man. Man, I'm going to put it to you like this. Not on that None level. of them Jones is on the level of. No. No. You don't have to finish yeah, that statement. You don't have to say it. No. You don't have to say it. And that's so the point I made right. initially. None of them joints on the all of them trying to be like Jordan, but none of them are on that level. None of them going to be on so, that level. So what I'm saying is nobody really gives a fuck. I mean, Fudge. He, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, outside the fact that he did pass. And hey, you know that's what we should do? Well, Vanessa we might have gifted sh- some to. We should do a whole episode where we just curse. I'm not saying bad words. I don't want to be a part but of it. But what you do is you do the editing. Instead of saying. <laughs> 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 the B T edit. The B T edit. Give me a whole other book. Man, I'll tell you about my life. <laughs> That's what we need to do. You gonna shut your goddamn uh, mouth? No. <laughs> mouth. <laughs> that would be funny. You gonna shut your goddamn mouth? I thought it'd be a TJ Reader. That's how they do <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> what just happened? Speaking of Vanessa Bryant, how do you guys feel about her mother? Who, um, Van- yeah, suing her. What's she suing her about? Hold on, For wait, what? Huh? I don't know if you should ever sue your Vanessa child Bryant's or your mother. Vanessa Bryant's mother is suing her. Um, yeah. Vanessa called it a disgraceful lawsuit and that she's trying to find ways to exhort a financial windfall from her family. She says, I've, support, I've supported her for nearly 20 years. Who, and who she does was, she support for 20 her years? Her mother. Her mother's suing her. Okay, because she supported her for 20 years? No, this is Vanessa's statement. Go ahead. And, and she was never my or Kobe's personal assistant, nor was she a nanny. I've always been a stay-at-home mother, and my husband and I uh, were our daughter's full-time caregivers. Oh, so the mother is claiming that she was a she's a old money stay-at-home nanny, and so she's old money. Sophia, because that's her grandkids. in the document, Sophia, that's the grandmother, we'll claims you. that she. I'll give you my synopsis on it when it's all over. With. Entered an oral contract with the Bryants and Kobe, repeatedly promised. To take care of her financially in exchange for oh. her many years of work for his family. Oh. She alleged that uh, this included the purchasing of her home, which uh, purportedly cost $2.65 million. So, has has Vanessa ceased to pay for her stuff? No, her, she still took care of her. So, what, why is she um, suing? Is she? Yeah, I thought, she, I thought she, she looked for a new apartment for her. Oh, she Recently. wanted she want to scale it back, and Grandma like, hold on now, mm. y'all pro- y'all said I could live here. I don't know if she want to scale it back or not. I just uh, know apartment from a house is a scale back. I don't even know if she was really if she really had a house for her. Did this? Oh, this is what she claims. Yes. So she's suing. Is that what she's suing based on? Um, I'm not sure actually. I just know that the lost. So you brought it up, but you're not even sure. <laughs> Listen, I didn't have time. Here's the thing. Dawn strikes again. Here's but, the thing. This Here's is why I asked before. Listen, this Where is what Vanessa about? tells E. For nearly two decades, we arranged for my mother to live in our nearby properties at no cost to her oh. because she claimed that she didn't have any money to buy her own home after her divorce. My husband and I felt it was best for her not to live in our home. She watched our girls from time to time, just like most grandparents do. She did not take care of business issues or expenses. She was a grandmother who was supported by me and her son-in-law at my request. Yeah. In reality, she only occasionally babysat my older girls when they were toddlers. As of 10 years ago, our kids were full-time students and athletes, and I didn't have another child until 2016. Her claims are obviously false, but I still tried repeatedly to work things out with my mother. It does seem kind of odd that now her mother is the on the same list of people that are that close to them. That are suing them because his parents sued them. Yeah. So you gotta understand what happened with Kobe Bryant and his parents. I'm just saying, she, either way, it's she, jacked up. She put the wedge between Kobe Bryant and his parents. She sure did because they didn't want him to marry, marry her. her. But 
But how did she put the wedge between them? She kind of, she kind of like what, that thing. What happened when he was um mm -hmm. in Denver, whatever, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, Utah, right, right, whatever right, the fuck right, he was right. at. Okay. She pretty much was like, "Look, man, fall back from from that side over there." Your parents. Yeah, if you want me to stay, all that shit. You know, she pretty much. Oh, she, pretty she much even gave him an ultimatum when that came up. And now, because she had a leg to stand on at that point. She had a leg to stand on, but what did his parents have to do with him? They are strange. She they never, been, they never rocked with no, her. No, did you know that they but wasn't even acknowledged at the, yeah, at the funeral? I, 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 I thought that was that weird. was by her. Right. But look at look at how the tables turned. Now yeah, her, yeah, now yeah. her mother. It's on her ass. That's what I was saying. It says something about it's her, them or it's her her. her or whatever it is. It's her. It's her. You know what I mean? Oh, Hollywood, Hollywood, living, Hollywood is completely different than regular life, though. It's no I, coincidence, is what I'm saying. I can't imagine. This I ain't situation. gonna say it's her. I ain't gonna say it's him. It's definitely her. It's something. Yeah, there's no coincidence that man. their parents got issues. Oh, how inconsiderate is that? That's bro? so sad. The nigga is not even in the grave for a year. It hasn't even been a year. Got to do with him. Man, money is money. That's though. not the point, bro. Money is money. But you, but this, my point is, is that it's literally. It don't change the color of money. Man, come on, man. This is your grieving this daughter. Is true. It don't change the need for money either. And grand, and your grand, I man, get out of here, bro. Is she looking for money? Day. What did you just say? The other day, it's business, man. It's business. And it's the, it's what's that shit when uh, Michael Max said? The, the chicken coming home to roost some shit. Oh, yeah. Who? Something like that. Something along them lines. <laughs> Start yeah, getting your coats rich. together, dog. Nah, he did say that, though. He said he something along that. He didn't even the thing right. He, he just, what's that thing he no, said? I when the chickens come home. I mean, the chickens and, uh, come home to roost. The the That's pretty much scrambled. what it is, though. You what you said. The eggs get scrambled. I don't know. Viola Davis said that every night she takes, I guess when they in town together, she takes a bath with her husband. And that's what keeps their relationship strong. If that's what keep them going, hey. I bet you they doing it more than twice a month. I listen. I don't. <laughs> I'm not against that. Mm -hmm. The bath definitely probably leads to that. But every night, though, I mean, you halfway there. You know what's going bad, on when she in that bath? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. You never know. Man, baths, baths are a very intimate thing. It is a very it is. intimate it is. thing. It's and you have dirty to talk. when you think about it too. It though. is real dirty. Yeah. You saturated in, 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 in your everything. In, 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 you stewing in everything. In every in all day. In each other, and the water's hot. Oh mm. my so you're gosh. really stewing. Well, it's actually better though if it's hot rather than cold. No. Because if it's no, cold, no. stuff no. will live. That's no, true. If, it's if it's hot, stuff lives. No. Warm, warm, no, warm. places. Hot. Hot. Are you a teacher? She, she don't like yeah, no, warm, warm, it's probably in your nose. Warm, right. moist places is where white. germs live. No, if that's hot, that water is more than hot. That water, that's if it's warm. cold. No, you're not getting it in boiling water. Yeah, you're not getting in boiling that's hot water. No. Yeah. To that's kill germs. You're not getting in that hot. Yeah, she's not getting in that hot. Yeah, she is right. She's right for once. The point yeah. is, this has been a rough episode. The point is, it's really soupy. It's still like a soup. It's stewed. It's like a, but it's not because it's, it's like not three hundred seventy-five degrees or oh, more. No, I'm steaming you know there. I'm nah. steaming the up in there. Even I mean, still, you're that stew. once you get in, it's over after that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, it cold, starts to cold, get cooler. A cold bath is actually better. Cold, I take cold showers at the end. I finished my shower. Maybe they should try showering well, together because you guys just made yourself gross. We did. And That's what Navy Seals do. You hey. gotta take a shower after you, the tub. You have to. No, you don't. Some people well, do. You I got think you to. Should. You probably should. Yeah. yeah. I'm just like saying you, you don't say have to. In your but you're all stewing in it. Yeah, you don't want to do that. So if she does that, I hope to take a shower. Yeah, I actually can't tell. Man, you. I don't know, man. You shit. Got that works for them. Residue left around that tub. Why, why wouldn't it you be? You better take a damn. Uh, it's two Shower. people in the tub. I would imagine that That's if that two. was happening, then the husband wouldn't want to do that as no, often as they No, but you know, the do. lights are out. You know, the lights are out. Yeah, it's probably so candlelit. You can't really see. He never said you the lights are out. You can see in candlelight. You can see in candlelight. You're going to go in that door the next morning. That tub is not white. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Going to that bathroom the next morning. I don't think you can. If that tub is white. I'm going to toilet and look over. No. The water evaporates. Once that water evaporates, you're going to see a right. ring around the yeah. tub. No, maybe, but, but Unless maybe, the tub isn't white. Maybe that they don't empty the tub out completely when they get Water out. evaporates over time. I'll tell you what, man. I done seen some dark rings in the tub, <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I don't want to get in that tub. Don't look at it. It wasn't a hole. It wasn't. I can't tell you that. So I took a bad Come on, that did something. Okay. It wasn't at home. She said, but I don't want last time. I can't. I take showers. I can't. That sounds bad. 
Eh, I don't want to put the person out there I like that. I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I'm like, don't go over here. There was a group of people sharing the bathroom. Long story short. The bathtub? Bathroom. Oh. And mm. one particular person wanted to take a bath. The other person wanted to take a shower. Everybody took a shower, but this one particular person wanted took to take a bath. bath. Oh, oh, I know this story. This is an insider. And then, uh, it's somebody you know. After the, afterwards, everybody then, saw the ring. Yeah, and it was like, God damn, play up. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. That's the best I've ever seen. God damn it. <laughs> Take a nice. shot outside at that point. Yeah. We got to wrap this up. We, do. we love y'all, but right, we got to go. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Even if you don't, hit it. <laughs> If Bye. you don't like what you see, hit the thumbs down. Bye, no, Dad. Don't hit that. <laughs> <laughs> we out? We out. We out. We out. All right, guys. <laughs>